Let's outplay volley players in Tour 7 and 8 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So there are several things you can do to uh, outplay players, having high agility and volley stats, and who are not playing at a very high level, like Professor X, Noam, Core Blue. If your opponent doesn't have a very strong serve, which is the case of uh, this opponent, well, you can try and return a cross court shot on his serve. And that cross court shot has a good chance to force your opponent to play a normal shot instead of a volley, at least a powerful volley, especially if your ball can hit the court before your opponent catches it with difficulty. So, of course, you can also hit soft cross court shots. I said soft, not strong, towards the uh, two extreme angles of the net during the, uh, the short rallies. Yep, a bit like here. So, this kind of uh, soft shot annoys the volleyers quite a lot more than the down the line and cross court strong shots which trigger their quick catch more easily. So as you have seen on the soft cross court shot on the previous one, my opponent had a great difficulty to counter it and put the counter volley into the alley. So here he has kind of adjusted his trajectory, but here he can do nothing. So remember that you should hit soft ones. Of course, now and then you will uh, have you will commit unforced errors, but uh, well, it's worth trying and practicing. So the problem is in high tours, is that a lot of volley players have a rather decent serves and know how to serve fast now. So it's much harder than some months ago to hit the cross court shots efficiently. So, of course, you can try lobs, and I will talk about lobs a bit later. Plus, after the gameplay recalibration patch release end of July 2020, all volleyers are more agile, so they can counter your cross court shots a bit more easily than before. Okay, so that was a tough match. Fail up. Yeah, so the lob you can sometimes it works well. Sometimes just doesn't go enough towards the baseline and that's very easy to smash for the player. As you can see, it's easier when uh, the volleyer stamina is lower even easier to hit those soft cross court shots to annoy them. And as you can see, the lobs, well, they can work one or two times, but afterwards it's not easy at all because, well, the opponent is one. All right, finally we arrive to the end. Once again, thanks to a soft cross court shot. Let's open this classic bag. And then let's see another match. This is uh, an opponent who has decent stats for all attributes, agility, stamina, serve, volley, his cuts at good level. So if your opponent knows how to hit uh, strong serves, where you can, like this one, you can try to uh, hit strong shots towards the two corners of the baseline. And you can hit them either down the line or cross court. Just try and see what 
kind of trajectory annoys most of your opponent. So of course this is a, a choice that you can ch you can do as well when your opponent's serve is not uh, high. But what I mean is that uh, to receive the uh, the powerful the more powerful serves is uh, rather better not to hit uh, cross court soft cross court shots because that will generate more enforced errors. So the idea is to choose your preferred corner and hit your best stroke towards this area for a passing shot. Four, five. Here we go. Yeah, here in cross court, strong towards the one of the corner. Here again. Well, this time the opponent has coated correctly, cross court towards the corner, and that put the uh, opponent in a very difficult position, returning into the alley. Here, the passing shots are easier, of course, to hit if your opponent has lower stamina. Cross court, and he has guessed it. Down the line, that worked. Especially when your opponent's stamina is lower, as I said. Down the line, cross court. Down the line, cross court. Didn't work. Don't mind, just keep focus and do what you need to do. That was down the line now, this cross court. So when you serve and you see that your opponent makes a cross court chip in charge, then you can try and hit hard up the corner opposite to the one he was coming from. And when you see that your opponent makes a down the line chip in charge, well, you can try either to hit hard a down the line shot, or you can hit a cross court shot. In all cases, you will very probably have to rush to the net to counter a drop volley. So, yeah, this one used the uh, love return that was quite often versus uh, short characters like Kaito and Florence. In high towards, it's mostly versus Kaito. So yeah, but as I said, volley players will try to make a drop volley quite often. So as to return your big shot, so stay alert and see how your opponent likes to uh, volley and be positioned correctly. So not all of them will uh, hit drop volleys. If your opponent likes to hit drop volleys, then be positioned more often in the backcourt, ready to rush to the net so as to hit a big stroke to follow up. Uh, if he likes rather to uh, wrong foot you by hitting powerful volley towards the baseline instead, and that's the choice of this opponent, for instance, he doesn't like to uh, to hit drop volleys a lot. It's rather powerful volleys towards the baseline. Then, well, you uh, you should be positioned more often behind the baseline or on the baseline and try to avoid being wrong-footed. An another lap return didn't work this time. So to avoid the lap returns, you can either go a bit inside the court, in the back court, as I said. Yep, the way I was positioning. Okay, here, didn't work. Or you can go very far from the baseline. Very far. You can step backwards from the baseline. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work. So it's 
it's better to uh, to be positioned by the in the backcourt. When you are playing, I insist with Kaito. When you are playing with Victoria, your opponent will not do that. <laughs> so I talk about Kaito and Victoria only because, well, you only see them two baseliners in uh, two seven to eight. Otherwise, if you play with Leo or Diana, then you mostly play with the volley style. And then it's, it's another topic. The topic here is to outplay volley players while playing with the baseliner style yeah. and not with a volleyer. Wow. Right now I can't, I can't do that yet. I don't know how to. Uh, but sometimes I am lucky and I can quick catch their volleys, but whenever I, I play with volley, I, I can't counter the, the good volleyers. They all know how to. Uh, to counter and uh, and not me yet, because they, well they have uh, of course a lot of matches behind them and they are much more experienced playing with the volley style. One, three. So I carry uh, no weight while playing <laughs> versus them with the volley style. I have uh, a very noob experience three. with the volley style. Okay, down the line. So the matches versus um, Volleyers, as you can see, they are play at a faster pace, often under pressure, putting you under pressure because you get quicker returns from your opponent. Compared to a match versus a counter puncher, for instance, where the, um, the rallies take a bit more time, there are more exchanges, more shots. And you have time to think, you have more time to think. Because you have the whole court for the ball to uh, travel across, you know, from your baseline to the, your opponent's baseline here. You only have a quite kind of half of the time to think because your ball will travel from your baseline towards the net only. And it will return already. It will be returned. So you have to think quicker. It will create a bit more stress, pressure, and you gotta be uh, used to play, uh, to handle the, this uh, kind of mini pressure. So you have less time to react, and in that case, reading the volleying pattern of your opponent is uh, important, so as to position your character in a good zone of the court and have a chance to counter the volleys, well, especially if you. Uh, put the Maestro Monty on. So here, the Bastry string was probably not uh, useful. One. I could have, yep. Yeah. If I remember, I was uh, trying to switch to uh, Maestro Monty at the last moment, but it was too late. The thing is that I, I, when I, whenever I play in Tour 8, I enter with a Bastry string by default, so... Or the Hubble Court. It depends, actually. If I see Victoria, a power, overpower Victoria, I wouldn't, wouldn't choose the uh, Hubble Court, having a long catch. Stamina Shintia 2 and uh, forehand counter. And if I see Kaito, very often uh, overpower Kaito, well... I would choose the Bastard String. But this is what I as well. Yep, the Master Monty would have been uh, Three. more logic here. Logical. Anyway, that was the Bastard String wasted. Because obviously, they don't have, um, they don't have a good forehand to counter. So you basically take the string just to uh, take advantage of its uh, critical shot too. In that case, well, if you have a lot of stamina, the Toro Twine could be enough. But the problem is that the Toro Twine doesn't have any stamina shield, and this bastard string has a stamina shield too. So it's obviously better than the Toro Twine.
But even with, with the Toro Twine, actually, if you have to run everywhere and counter a lot of powerful volleys, and that's my experience, you end the matches versus volleyers with a very low stamina level. Okay, so... Yeah. The Bastille String is really uh, more useful when you play with Victoria because uh, she has two very strong hands and they are kind of a nightmare versus, uh, for volleyers. They, the volleyers have a really hard time countering, especially this forehand of Victoria. The problem is that that's not so easy, you know. Whenever I, I <laughs> as I say, multiple times in the, the previous videos, whenever I, a lot of times when I, when I go to tour eight with Victoria, trying to hoping to uh, to be match versus a volleyer. A lot of time I would be much versus the overpowered Kaito instead, and, and of course, I have uh, hardly any luck to beat them because it's too easy to uh, for Kaito to counter. Victoria in high tools. Well, that's it. You are going to see the lineup that I use for the most of matches in this video. It's with Kaito in the Master Monty. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me outplay volley players in the Tour 7 and 8 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by White Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 65 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon in Gameplay 65. Bye-bye.